Hi, I'm Chef Martin and you're watching my culinary blog. Today we're going to talk about chestnuts. They're very popular in Europe, especially in Austria, where they call them maroni. They're high in potassium, protein, and they're only nuts that contain vitamin C. Uh, you can enjoy them in a variety of ways, like roasted, boiled, steamed, pureed, and they're in season from September through February. So in this cold time, you can purchase them in your local store. I uh, have these from Kroger. So I will show you how to roast them, which is the most common way. Um, first thing what you need to do, you need to cut a little slot in your chestnut to make sure to prevent it from exploding in the oven. So you cut a little slot on the side of the nut like this, so when they, when they bake they open this way. Or you can do a little X mark on the straight side of the shell, which is the bottom, actually the side. You just pop a little X mark. And then you uh, put these cut chestnuts in a cold water, ice cold water for about 20 minutes. After you pull them out of the water, dry them off and set them in a roasting pan or in a baking pan. And make sure if you choose to use the X marks that they're facing up. So I just pretend I'm roasting them right now. You can actually roast them on open fire. When they bake, bake them for about 25 minutes in a 400 degrees preheated oven. When you pull the chestnuts out of the oven, let them set for about five minutes before peeling. Very important, when you peel the chestnuts, make sure you peel the skin as well. The skin is bitter and you don't want to use the skin. This is actually before it bakes, there's still skin on. This is how it looks like when you peel it with, without skin. So this is your final product right here. So I'm going to show you one of the recipes that I really like with the chestnuts and it's a uh, wild mushroom potato gnocchi with some shallots, garlic and chestnuts. I'm also going to add spinach to it. So first I need to preheat my saute pan. Add a little oil on the bottom. Now I take my chestnuts and I like to slice them. About two, maybe three. The more the merrier. All right. And my pan is nice and hot. So I'll add my potato gnocchi in. And I'll chestnuts immediately so they have time to roast and get all the flavors out. It's gonna smell and taste. Perfect. While that's cooking, I will uh, slice some shallots. That should be plenty. And some garlic. So my potato gnocchi are nice and golden brown. I will add some shallots and garlic. Mmm, that smells good. Season a bit salt. Add some wild mushrooms. I have a mixture of cremini mushrooms, which are baby portabellas. And some shiitake mushrooms. Let it cook for some more. And the last thing I need to add is the baby spinach. Get some organic baby spinach. And 
that's it. I want to make sure my spinach is still nice and crispy before it cooks all the way down. Here's my plate. I'll just plate up a little bit in the middle. I'll pretend like this is appetizer. Now I finish it with a little balsamic reduction, which is uh, balsamic vinegar, which is reduced all the way down to the syrupy consistency. It turns very nice and tangy, sweet. And I'll just drizzle a little bit on top. And there you go. We got wild mushroom potato gnocchi with some chestnuts and spinach. And you can use this uh, potato gnocchi wild mushroom mixture with uh, chestnuts as starch under your seafood or any type of meat. Uh, that way you can turn this to in, into entree or you can serve this as vegetarian entree. Uh, potato gnocchi that I use here, I, it's, all it is is just baked potato, cool down, then you uh, mix it with uh, some egg yolks and flour and make little pillows and boil them, just like potato dumplings. And that's going to be our class for next time. Thank you for watching.